Oh, no, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be the most scientific test you've ever seen on YouTube when it comes to driver testing. And uh, right now I'm uploading the greatest challenge on Trackman Golf, and we're gonna find out which is the longest driver between a Ping G425, the TaylorMade Sim. What's the other one? The Callaway Epic Speed. Uh, points of difference that I've just noted is that the um, the Epic and the Sim they've got adjustability as this as in terms of loft in terms of the loft sleeve um, and I'm just going to set this actually this is a ten and a half degree head these two are nine so we're going to take one and a half degrees off of this um, off of the ping but then the other thing that's uh, interesting and some of you will like some of you are not particularly bothered is the slidable weight that was removed from these drivers um, but it is in the ping so it's not a huge weight um, I don't know I think it's about 16 grams of weight if I'm right I can't remember now but it slides obviously from left to right into the draw and fade bias I'm not sure just how much difference that makes but some it will appeal to it in terms of custom fit it is an extra option but that's all three are pretty much set up uh, identical in terms of loft which one do you think will win which do I think will win? Do you know what? It's a really good question. So don't forget, this is all about distance. We're going all out. So it's not about carry distance. We're going to see which one hits the ground and where it actually finishes. Um, I'm going to stick with the Epic Speed. That's been my... I've reviewed all three so far. And based on that, I'd say the Epic Speed. Right, well, okay, so the rules of the game are dead simple. We've got an allotted time for each of these clubs. It's almost like the long drive competitions that you see. We've got a, uh, a runway in which we've got a hit. We've got to find that target line, otherwise if it slips outside of either of those, they don't count. So A, we've got to find the target, and then B, how far it is. As soon as I press go, we've got X amount of minutes and a maximum of eight shots. Between each of the three drivers, I will take a long enough break to get my breath back and give them equal chance. We're going to kick off with the Ping G425 and arguably it's getting the best run at it because, well, in theory, by uh, number three, I will be uh, all out of it. So here we go. There's a countdown. Join in at home. Four, three, two, here we go. Go. Oh, that's a great start, you know, from Ping. I hope it's not too far down that left because that's a good ball flight in terms of uh, oh don't go too don't go out get down now stay in because it's got a lot of uh, top spin on it I think in terms of it seemed low spinning that's a huge carry from what I'm seeing there that's a massive first ball from ping uh, two eight five what a what a benchmark that is. Trust me, I've been in this uh, the other week and uh, I don't think I got past 285 when I had a good, uh, good old go with it. So that's, uh, that's a great start from Ping, that is. Wow. And has absolutely banged down the middle. Whether or not it'll get that 284, because I don't know if have a bit more spin on it, I don't know. Go ball, go, go. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, almost right behind it. It's right on the button, but uh, you can often see. I, I'm on a timer, so I can't talk too much. But you can often see the ball flight differs, and that was a bit more. Uh, it was up in the air as opposed to a sort of more piercing. And uh, and the same again. That's pretty similar. That's more like my sort of shot, to be honest with you. Just a little bit of uh, cut on it. Um, which does mean it spins a little bit, but it gets a little bit more control, but you can see how much distance you drop off in terms of where it's suggesting how much roll it'll be. Um, but the one thing I'm really impressed with Ping on all the testing that I've done is, uh, if that's a fair way, then uh, you know, so far, we've just hit three out of three. That's a better ball, that is, again. The performance of this has been fantastic, you know. It's really good. Right down the middle. 
go ball. You just wait now and see what it does in terms of uh, it's got. It's so close there. It's eat past it. What's that? It's about a, what's that? Two eighty six or something? Two eighty eight. Wow. Right. Can he get a ball past two ninety? Here we go. Well, you can see I put everything I've got into it. I might have just turned it over and it might sneak off down that. Uh, this is the one that's got that sort of lower top spin, low spin in flight on it. So it'll kick on a bit. And it's not going to quite get there, is it? Yeah, it's gone past it again. Well, hang your behind the camera. You don't know how good this is going, but uh, I know you can't see the screen behind you, but well, fact 291. I might have to start uh, doing a bit of the old uh, getting in the gym and see if we can get past the 300 mark. Oh, we're out of time. Whew, last ball hit. So, two, what was it, 291? Carry. That's incredible, you know. Like I said earlier, I've been on this before and um, I didn't get, I don't think I got anywhere near that. So, carry 254, total 291. Club head speed 102, which is quick for me. Um, so I'm certainly loosened up. We'll play again. I'm happy to keep on running with that. Let's hope that uh, the sim doesn't get punished for my lack of energy if I start to wilt. I'm swinging that quite well. I want to carry on. We've got to press a button again. I have two minutes, I think, just to get my breath back. Let me know in the comment section down below, just uh, is, this, uh, is this enjoyable to watch, a bit of fun, something we've never done on the channel before, and obviously in terms of performance, it's uh, or a review, but well, it's certainly not that. But uh, it's an interesting one to be, uh, see how this one goes now, here we go. Sim 2. <laughs> That's, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm I don't use a phrase like ripping it, but for someone, uh, I'm hitting the ball a long way at the minute for me. This is as good as I've got. So that's again about 245 carry, and it's not got quite the lower spinning flight. So what did that get to? 281. We've got 10 yards to find Taylor made at the minute. Oh, no, I've skied that. Right down the middle, but skied it. Don't get me wrong, if I was on a fairway, I'd uh, take it all day long. Anything down the middle is always uh, acceptable. But yeah, that's gone. That's just gone high. It's a mile behind. Right. This is the one. Oh, and it could be as well. It could be. That is right down the middle. I'm amazing myself with my own performance here today. I'm allowed to say that. Right, but will it kick on? Will it kick on? It's kicked on past 281, or has it? Yeah, but it's not going to get to 291. I'll tell you what, it's not far off it though. 289? 288. So we're three yards down at the moment. We've got a minute and a half left in terms of... Uh, the allotted time. No. You've seen the, uh, the additional effort I put into that one and uh, turned it over. When I say turned it over, I hooked it left. Do you know what? It's, uh, it was actually a lot worse than that. It's not done too bad. It was a shame. We've got a minute left. We need one more good one. It would be 291. Solid and down the middle again. I don't know whether that's got quite enough in it. I don't think that's going to roll out from there. Is it 250 carry on the button and it's rolling out? It's getting close. It's getting close. Wow, that's almost identical. That must be 287. 288. So two balls at 288. One last shot. We've got 20 odd seconds to go. So come on. That's one. You've got three yards to find. Oh. 
well I'll tell you what it's everything I had is that enough has it got too much in terms of ball flight and is it going to take a bit of that to spin go ball go ball go ball it's gone past 288 has it got it with the last shot it could you know this could be 292 it said out of time tell me that's recorded that last ball oh 293 last ball 253 carry one foot wow 293 so that must have been all down to being that lower spinning flight again um and has literally got it by two yards with the last ball the last kick of the ball i'm enjoying this honey you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah oh wow i'm gonna reload i want to um i want to keep it going because i think i'm um i'm pretty much you know from an adrenaline point of view i don't think i should lose it and stop now so 293 yeah ready should have got the right driver i think i have to press it again now this is being recorded on the first day back that uh, golf course is uh, open again in england so hopefully you've all been out there and uh, are enjoying it some real golf but in the meantime i'm just having a bit of fun getting as long as i can and these are uh, these have been impressive so far I don't forget, and um, this is the this is the one I said would win. Yeah. There's a bit of pressure on here because I tell you now, two nine three. That's a lot to beat. And I won't beat it with that. That's a terrible start. I've got another one of those uh, duck hooks. Barely carried two hundred yards. It'll run a fair bit. Well, we're in play, we're on the fairway, but it wasn't nice. Right. Come on. No. I think I'm feeling the pressure of my own, uh, my own shout here. It's actually going to be the worst performing. <laughs> Not the best. Seriously, 2.30 carry. Would have gone into the first cut. Right, we're gonna to have to get to pull something out of the bag here. That's a ball. That's a ball. And that again should chase as well when it lands. You can't half tell the difference in the ball flight, but this uh, once this hits now it should scoot. And it has scooted, but nowhere near, I don't think, up to that. Uh, what is that we're on now? Is that 280 odd? What have we got? Come on, we're running out of time here. Oh, it wasn't 280 odd, it was 292. We're just on 292, that's a yard down. Come on, don't let me down then, we know it's in there. That's the one. That's the winner. See ya. <laughs> that did. Will it be? Right, see the carry first of all. That's a two, 250 carry. Is it gonna scoot over that mark? Oh, and you've made a right fool of yourself. It hasn't even beat the last one. It hasn't either. I think it's identical. Is it another one at 292 again? Wow. How many shots have we got left? I've probably got two. We've got a minute left on the timer. And I thought that was the one. Well, again, I give that everything I had, but the problem is I think I might have just turned it off. Is it gonna hang in on the left hand side? I don't think it is, you know. Two, nah, it's a two, 280, 284 or 285. Is it? Come on, quickly, got 28 seconds. That was two, we've got 292, come on. This would be quite an exciting end then if we get this one in right at the last death. It's down the middle. It's got the right shape. It's a low penetrating ball flight. Will it kick? Will it kick? Go. 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 Oh, oh wow. 
I think that again has finished, you know, it'll be 292 again. Ah, the last one was 291. Well, I'm out of breath. Uh, the challenge is over. The winner was the sim. But you know what was interesting? Um, I hope this is, like I say, a very different video and uh, whether or not it actually makes it out if you're watching it, well, clearly it did. Uh, but we thought we'd try this as a little bit of a fun experiment. I really enjoyed uh, taking part in the challenge. But in terms of performance, it was also interesting. These are three top, top drivers. But how interesting was it in terms of the numbers? We've got three clubs there, and I can't really recall them off the top of my head, but I think the ping was 288. Then we went up to, or was it 291? or well, whatever. Then we went up to just a couple of yards difference in terms of the sim. And then we've just gone 292 with this. There was barely two or three yards separating them from front to back. So that just shows you how little difference there is between these three drivers. And any modern driver right now, it's incredible. It's just about getting that right shaft head combination, getting the line, getting the loft right that suits you, getting that spin number down and getting optimum performance. And uh, it was interesting to see, like I said, just how similar those three clubs performed. Incredible. But I suppose the winner, I was wrong, it wasn't the epic speed, it went to the tailor-made. Well done, tailor-made. As for everybody else, thank you for watching. I, uh, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. Stick your comments down below and uh, let me know what you thought of that fun challenge and I'll see you soon.